A prepotent, also known as amend, is a medication used in combination with other drugs to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by chemotherapy. It works by blocking a natural substance in the body that triggers vomiting. It's important to note that amend will not treat nausea or vomiting that has already started. If you experience these symptoms, consult your doctor for further guidance. The recommended dosage and timing for taking amend will depend on your specific treatment plan, so be sure to follow your doctor's instructions closely to achieve the best results. Before starting to take amend, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you are taking the liquid form, be sure to read the instructions for use sheet for proper directions. You can take amend by mouth with or without food, as directed by your doctor. If you are taking capsules, be sure to swallow them whole. The first dose should be taken as directed by your doctor, usually one hour before the start of chemotherapy. For the next two days, continue to take a dose once daily one hour before the start of treatment if you are getting chemotherapy that day. If you are not getting any chemotherapy, then take the dose once daily in the morning. The dosage will depend on your medical condition, age, and response to treatment. In children, the dosage is also based on weight. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions for when to take each dose, how long to keep taking it, and the strength of each dose. If you have any questions, be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist. Lastly, make sure to inform your doctor if you vomit or feel nauseated. If you experience tiredness or hiccups, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. This medication has been prescribed because the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but if you notice any symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. If you're in the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to the FDA. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to Health Canada. Before taking amend, it is important to let your doctor know if you are allergic to it, fosoprepotent, or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. It's also important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have liver disease. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, amend should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if this drug passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using amend. As always, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions and take the medication as prescribed. When taking amend, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that may affect how the medication works. This includes other medications that could affect the removal of amend from your body, which may impact its effectiveness. Some examples of these medications include certain antifungals, antibiotics, HIV protease inhibitors, and anti-seizure medicines. It's also important to note that amend may affect how well other medications work in your body, such as warfarin. If you are taking warfarin, your doctor should test your blood during the two weeks after your amend treatment to measure how well warfarin is working. Additionally, amend may decrease the effectiveness of hormonal birth control, such as pills, patch, or ring, potentially leading to pregnancy. It's important to discuss with your doctor or pharmacist if you should use additional reliable birth control methods while using amend and for one month after stopping the medication. If you experience any new spotting or breakthrough bleeding, it may be a sign that your birth control is not working well. Lastly, it's important not to use fosoprepotent while using amend, as they are very similar medications. Be sure to discuss any concerns about potential drug interactions with your doctor or pharmacist to ensure the safe and effective use of amend. As for the best time to take amend and the daily dosage, this should be determined by your doctor based on your specific condition and medical history. If someone has taken too much amend and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. 
In the U.S., you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. This medication is meant for your own use and should not be shared with others. Be sure to take each dose of amend as prescribed. If you happen to miss a dose, consult your doctor or pharmacist to determine the best course of action. Avoid doubling the dose to make up for a missed one. When storing amend capsules, make sure to keep them at room temperature away from light and moisture. The liquid form of this medication should be stored in the refrigerator and any unused liquid should be discarded after 72 hours. It's important not to freeze the liquid form. If you're ready to use the liquid form, it can be stored at room temperature for up to 3 hours, but do not store it in the bathroom. Remember to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of expired or no longer needed amend, it's important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.